Hi. If you're an uh, electronics enthusiast like I am, um, it's very likely that you have an oscilloscope on your bench. And if not, you may want to be buying an oscilloscope. And, uh, and maybe you're even into uh, buying, repairing, and reselling, which is something I do also. In any case, uh, if you've got that scope, you'd like to maintain calibration. You might want to perform calibration. You'd like to test its capabilities. You'd like to verify for people who are buying it, your customers. And in that case, you need some equipment that shows, uh, allows you to calibrate the horizontal time base, the vertical deflection. And uh, you could invest quite a bit of money in, in a lot of different equipment to do that sort of thing. I, I've done just that, but one of the reasons I've done that is I'm trying to tweak every little microvolt out of the calibration of these things. And uh, with some honesty, I'm trying to tell people that I'm, uh, I have uh, good equipment that is validated and, uh, and uh, allows me to perform these kind of calibrations accurately. But if, if this is for yourself and you're trying to get just close and um, uh, you don't really need to invest in all of that equipment, maybe instead this is exactly what you need. This unit here is called the Pyramid Generator. It was invented uh, and built by a gentleman out in California. I saw it on eBay roughly a year ago. As soon as I saw it, I realized the potential of it. I snatched it up. I think it was his first buyer. And what it does is it provides uh, square wave, a frequency selectable uh, square wave, basically to match each of the ranges on my scope. But it also provides a pyramid output, which is essentially a triangle wave made up of square wave steps. And, uh, and basically that triangle wave goes from, uh, well, it's, it's 3 volts peak to peak. There's 10 steps in it, so it's 0.3 volts for every step. Uh, and it will complete one cycle in the range time that's given on, on the switch. So I can use that to both see my my uh, horizontal time is accurate, and I can also see that my vertical is accurate, and I can see that my uh, deflection is linear, that I'm, I'm giving a linear stair step for each one of the uh, fragments of voltage uh, as I go from the minus 3 to uh, plus 3. Be minus 1.5 to plus 1.5 pardon me so let's uh it, it's a whole lot easier for me to uh, demonstrate than it is to explain let's try it right now i'm on the lowest range i've gone uh, two milliseconds per division uh, for my square waves 50 milliseconds for my waveform i have my scope set on the five millisecond per division range and I see that I have completed one complete cycle in, in 10 uh, of my uh, divisions. So in 10 divisions at 5 milliseconds per division, I've gotten 50 milliseconds. Well, that's exactly what this range switch tells me that this, uh, this frequency should have, is 50 milliseconds. So I have a 50 millisecond triangle wave composed of... Uh, a number of steps. I go up five. Well, it actually be I go up ten and down ten uh, steps, and I do it in uh, fifty milliseconds. And if I look at this, I'd see vertically. I see one, two, three, four, five, six divisions. I can try and turn up my radical here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I rise six divisions, and I am on. 0.5 volts per division, so that's 3 volts peak to peak, which is what it was telling me. Okay, let's change the range. Let's go to 1 uh, millisecond per division, or 20 milliseconds for the waveform. Well, let's see, go to 2 milliseconds per division, 10 divisions would be 20 milliseconds. And I see that I complete one full cycle in 20 milliseconds. 
So my time base on my scope is accurate because my generator is verifying that I am, I am able to sweep one full cycle in exactly 20 milliseconds. Next range, uh, this would be 10 milliseconds per cycle. So I have gone to the one millisecond per division. I've got 10 divisions across the screen. I show one waveform. Again, uh, I am accurate on this range setting. If I go to 5 milliseconds per division, I am on 0.5 milliseconds times 10 divisions would be 5 milliseconds. I see one full cycle of my, uh, my triangle wave, and again I'm accurate on this range. 2 milliseconds. my there we got the lock all right so there's two milliseconds uh, and I am one full cycle 0.2 milliseconds per division times 10 divisions is two milliseconds that's one full cycle it matches the calibration of this uh, unit so let's go to one millisecond uh, per cycle I'll go to 0.1 milliseconds per division on my scope. I have 10 divisions across the screen. I see one full cycle again. I am accurate. All right, we are on 500 microseconds per division. I'm on 50 per... Uh, that's 500 microseconds per cycle of waveform. I am on 50 milliseconds per division. 10 divisions would be 500 milliseconds. I'm accurate. All right. We are on 200 microseconds per cycle. I am on 20 microseconds per division on my range setting. 10 divisions, one full cycle. Accurate. 100 microseconds uh, per cycle. I am right now on 10 microseconds per division. I'm 10 divisions across, and that would be 100 microseconds. Now, if I didn't achieve any of these settings, I could internally go in and adjust my time base to get me there. If I don't see that I'm getting 3 volts peak to peak, then I could adjust my um, amplitude to, uh, to give it to me. All right, we are uh, 50 microseconds per wave uh, cycle. We have one cycle. We are at 5 microseconds per division times 10 would be 50 microseconds. 20 microseconds per division. 10 divisions across. One complete cycle. 2 microseconds per division times 10 is 20 microseconds. So. I've just taken you through all of the range settings and then there is one here that is variable where you have this little control that allows you to change your frequency. I'm continuously changing it here. I found less use for that myself, but certainly there could be a reason for it. Um, let us take this output, put it on the square wave output, and let us uh, take a look at what we get. Okay, so basically I've adjusted my scope so that uh, square wave is on the screen. And I could use this to adjust my timing, just as I did with the triangle waves earlier. Um, I would look to complete one cycle. There's one cycle across the screen. And I've done it in 5 milliseconds uh, per division. I've got 10 divisions, that's 50 milliseconds. 
which corresponds exactly to the frequency uh, called out on this unit. So as I step forward in my frequency, I'll see the number of square waves increasing. And I would have to change my scale to be able to use them. But it's just an example of another one of the outputs of this unit. So it's a uh, pretty sophisticated little unit that uh, gives you a lot of functionality for calibrating your, your scope, testing it, checks frequency, checks voltage, checks linearity, and uh, in a very small portable thing. I mean, you could take this with you on a ham event. Uh, if somebody tries to sell you a scope and you'd like to see if the scope is working, you could put this thing on it and check it out right there. That in itself might be a, an enticement for a number of people. So, uh, comes with a, a operational manual. Gives you the specifications, how to use it. Gentleman's name was last name was Reed. Gives you an email in here so you could contact him. So there you have it. It's a beautiful little unit. Uh, it won't cost you a bunch of money, and uh, I think you'd be quite happy. So happy bidding. Thank you for listening.